hour drive. It is 3.10 right now. So I have a hair appointment at 4. Pro tip, if you go to shows out of town, of course you can use the hair and makeup person, but I love to go if there's like a dry bar or blowout bar just the day before, put on a silk bonnet, and I also take my curling iron with them with me, and I have them curl it with my curling iron so that if I need to touch up anything in the morning, it's the same barrel size and everything, so it's golden. So I'm gonna go do that with Aisha, and then after that, there are athlete check-ins starting at 5.15 ish and then my tan is at 6.15 so we'll be bouncing around I need to double check where athlete check-ins are but we'll go get our number get my height measured at athlete check-ins I have to get my suit checked because they make sure that your suit is all good to go for the sizing uh, and then I'll get my tan and just put my feet up and go to bed probably call it an early night because it's gonna be an early morning and a long day so that's what we're doing. How do I look? Tan as ever. It's gonna keep getting darker. So just you wait. Now we gotta go try on the suits and see which one looks better with a tan. Because that will be the true indicator. Like it feels like forever since I've been in a tanning situation like that. But I am just so glad that it's different from 2018. There's a show that they literally just put you in a room with no tents everyone just completely in the nude um also as like a newer competitor that can be quite a mental head game so that was not super fun um in that situation but i'm very glad that liquid sunrays was the sponsor for the show because liquid sunrays is my favorite of how it sits on my skin and liquid sunrays will also be at junior nat so i'm using them there um they'll be off site but we're going to them anyways I'm really excited to see which suit looks the best against the tan. I feel like I've been so pale for forever. It's been like a week and a half. Look at me. I'm golden brown. Out of the absolute. What's up? Here's your things for tomorrow. Okay, thank you. And this one's for you. If you're a bit a VIP. <laughs> and what's your favorite number? 39 now. So do you want to see each suit against the tan? Okay. Yeah, I like that color on you. Back shot looks good. I think everything just needs to settle. All right, guys. This is meal. This is three for us. I'm behind on food because we thought we would run past a Chick-fil-A or a Chipotle on the way here. And all we had was a Wendy's, a Wendy's, a Dairy Queen. Nothing sounded good. Then Miguel fell asleep. <laughs> oh, another thing, hot plate. Having a hot plate is massive um, when you're in the hotel, in the hoti, and a fridge, a cooler of sorts. It's just, it's tough to have your food ready. And so having as, if you're driving a luxury there, we generally actually travel with a microwave. I know that sounds <laughs> ridiculous and it is, it is, but it is such a benefit if you have a hot plate, a microwave, um, a mini fridge. So for competitors who are new, getting black sheets for your bed and for the pillowcase is important, um, as well as the saran wrap on the toilet seat, be super helpful for you not getting your tan on everything. She looks better.
better in the red. But also we turned that light off and it <laughs> improved her look like tenfold from that light <laughs> turning off. Um, I like both. So here's the thing with Sue. Sue's human nature is to ensure that everyone is taken care of, to ensure that everyone has exactly what they need. Everyone in the room, in, if, they, if she knows them or does not know them, they have to have exactly what they need. So for her to calm down and just relax and sit is probably the toughest part of prior to show day because the biggest thing prior to the show is, is relaxing, letting your body get into a parasympathetic state and letting everything be digested well, letting the carbs be pushed to the muscle, all those different things. It's very, very important. And so if you're a anxious mess, not saying that she's an anxious mess, but I'm just saying in general, if you're an anxious mess before the show and you're running around and you're trying to people please everyone around you, it's not going to help your look, it's only going to hinder your look. So the biggest thing for her now, it's 6, 6.45, and so really she needs to finish her last meal, finish up her water, those things by probably eight o'clock. And so from there, really, she just needs to be laying in bed and relaxing, um, scrolling her phone, reading a book, just letting her mind rest, watch silly YouTube videos, watch Netflix, all the things that a busy body like herself does not want to do, but needs to do in this scenario. So we'll be relaxing the rest of the night. I'll probably take one more look at her after all of her food's done, around 8, 8.30, and uh, we'll try to get an early uh, bedtime in. It's tough when you haven't competed for two years and you know the show day's coming up. I already know that Hopefully she can sleep throughout the night, but she's gonna be excited. I'm excited. We're all excited. So it may be uh, a broken sleep, but we're gonna try to get the best sleep we can um, and, and look her absolute best tomorrow. <laughs> and we have an athletes meeting at 745 over in the convention center. So I'm going to go back to the room, go ahead and eat a meal or heat it up and take it over to the convention center. We have the athletes meeting uh, where they really just run through the show and make sure you know everything that you need to know. And then tan touch ups start at 730, but they run through, I think like 9 a.m. I have to double check that. So I'll go to the athletes meeting and then go ahead and get touched up because bikini's a little bit later and they have all the pros first. So I'm not too worried about timing as a whole. Just gotta get some food in me and keep kick my feet up. Hi. Hello. What's up? Coffee long. and uh, oh man, breakfast sandwiches for us. You too. Wow. Hey. Go Dude, you're making it looks good. Thank you. We woke up at like 5.30 and then I kind of was dozing in and out until about 6.30 probably. And then I got up and looked at your posing and we were we were good to go. I got full coffee. I didn't know Sir? what food are you wanting to do. I was going to do uh, oatmeal because the pancakes are going to be too much protein. Yeah. Um, so I was gonna do oatmeal and egg, egg whites, and then for the extra carbs, not from the oatmeal, I was just gonna do bananas and fruit. That's what I would say. Yeah. Sweet. Calories is 422. Okay, that's right. Okay. Good to go on that. Got all my boob right here. This is how you make boobs. Oh, look at you. Look at me. Good. I think that if we wait too long here, you're, you're just gonna run flat and then we're gonna be playing catch up. You know? Yeah. I'd rather have the food now and then let you kick your legs up and let you get your mind right and, and not have anything else on your stomach that close. And yeah, that's my big thing is I would rather have something now or not eat a full meal and just have a snack closer digestion wise to feel my best.
filmingnya. judging not too long ago. Uh, it was a whirlwind up there. It was extremely nice just to have so many people, a lot of Team PD as far as our staff, and then just my family being able to come was very, very special. <laughs> Feels like it's been eons since I've been on stage, even though it's only been two years. It feels like so much life has happened during that time. Yeah, it felt very rushed. Um, <laughs> I was I was proud of her. I was more so speaking to it being rushed from like a show perspective. Uh, this is a show that I really like, and this year, for whatever reason, um, there was not as many competitors as a whole, and partially because Junior USA's are today, mm -hmm. which I would anticipate that's why. But on that note, um, they just were pushing the competitors through, like. Sue didn't get to finish her individual, and it was partially because it was a long walk, um, but didn't get to finish her individual, came out for comparisons. They only flipped them once, just had them do a front shot and then a back shot, came back to the front, and then they just sent them off. So it's tough to say what we where we're at in terms of the, the placing and those different things, but um, we'll see how it shakes out tonight. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive With every star
left off in Indiana finishing up the show and ended up with third place in my class. So with that, uh, we are going to be doing another show before Junior Nats just to get some more feedback, uh, make sure that we have that qualification locked in and being able to get on the national stage and feel confident within the package that we're bringing. Yeah, that was a, a chipper way of going about this. We're not super happy with the, the outcome as a whole. Um, this is something that was, we, we took our, we understood that we needed the qualification to get to Junior Nats and that was the, the show that we were focused on and had fallen short of the overarching goal of just getting qualified in those different things. I think that there are positive things that we took from this show as a whole. We learned things. This is the, the first show that Sue and I have done um, as, a, as a whole uh, with me handling her nutrition, uh, training, cardio, all those different things. And so this was our first peak together and I feel like we took some valuable things from this. We'll, we'll take some and leave some of those things um, and be able to learn from this. It was a, it was a show that um, we wish have, would have gone differently. And the one thing within subjective sports as a whole is that you know, you're going to have, the judges are potentially going to have a look in mind that is not going to be yours and you have to live with that and be able to, to move forward and take pieces from that show that are going to be valuable. Um, but it is what it is and we've got to uh, keep pushing forward. Yeah. I would say like when it comes to shows and being frustrated, I do want to make it very clear that I don't like to sit and like invalidate other people doing better than me or acting like I deserve to always place first place. But it is something that they rushed us on stage. They didn't rejudge or not that they always rejudge at finals, but they barely even let us get up there. They barely judge us at prejudging. There was just a lot of things that didn't go the way that we wanted them to, but like Alex said, it is subjective. Uh, we'll get stage shots, we'll see what the judges' feedback is, and be able to make a game plan from there. But started back, had cardio this morning, it's Sunday by the way, the day after the show. Uh, did cardio this morning, back on my macros, enjoyed a meal last night with family and friends, which was really great, and we'll just get back to work. That's really all there is to do at this point. And if you spend your time dwelling on everything that could have happened or should have happened or whatever it may be, you'll be you'll be stuck in that mindset for a very long time. And so you have to find peace of whether I should have gotten a better placing or wanted a better placing, this is where the cards fell and I have to be okay with that or this sport will eat you alive. And I'm not willing to let this sport eat me up and it's not worth it for you to sit and just let that define you at the end of the day because it, it's like, like if things are gonna go your way, things aren't gonna go your way and I'm not gonna act like I'm not sad about it, like I didn't cry about it, like I didn't have my own set of thoughts about it, but it's what happened and I'm at peace that we took what we could out of it and we're going to move forward in the direction that we think is best. Yeah, I think that one big thing that we do, and this is something that we reiterate, reiterate with all of our clients is utilizing a 24 hour rule because in my, in my place here, and it does sting more, um, even with my every, all of my clients, I'm upset when I do not get to the desired goal. Stings a little bit more when it's your wife as well. Um, but within that, I could sit and dwell and analyze photos time and time again and, and think through the possibilities of if I adjusted this at this time or adjusted this at this time, do we have a different outcome and those different things. And I think there's value in that um, for a short period of time, but we utilize the 24 hour rule as, as soon as tomorrow hits, there's not really any conversation that's going to be transpiring of what transpired on Saturday. Uh, today is being utilized as that time as I uh, sat this morning for a few hours and looked through the Excel document and uh, put photos all side by side, the uh, changes to the nutrition and those different factors. And um, there's changes that I'll take into the next peak week when that time comes. We haven't decided on another show just yet, um, but it will be soon. It'll have to be within the next four weeks. So um, 
it'll be in the in the near future and we'll utilize those things moving forward and then the thing is is that it, it's not that sue wasn't in shape i think that there's some things that uh, i just need to change on my end here we need to change within her posing to get her into a better position uh to bring her absolute best to the stage i think that saturday was her best to date and then now we can refine things and continue to make improvements to that uh moving through the rest of the season so i'm very excited for that uh, component of things yeah, and I will just add on one last thing of him saying that was my best to date. It can be very defeating if you're thinking, well, if that was my best to date and I got third place, and then again, putting your worth within those placings, where I do have two third place trophies sitting sideways in a cabinet that I'm upset about, but it didn't define as far as how I what I accomplished in those moments. Again, going into this weekend, I was already at peace. Even if it's still stung, you can still have your feelings even if you understand them. I was able to recognize I'm allowed to feel hurt in this moment. I'm allowed to feel frustrated. I'm allowed to feel down, but I have to be proud of the work that was put into this and the lessons learned and the fact that that was my best physique and nobody can take that away from me from a placing or a judge or anything. You again have to find your worth outside of that and being able to see I 100% brought my best that I've ever brought and that's something to be proud of. I'll add one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll add one more thing. And also Sue had taken two years off and so that was a, a big part within the posing of just not having been under the lights, having taken the amount of, of steps that she needed to take to get to that box, to be in the box, to have everyone's eyes on her. It's, it's really hard to mimic, not on stage. And so uh, for, any, for anyone who's had an extended um, improvement season, a year, two years, three years, just time away from the stage in general, give yourself quite a bit of grace on that first show as you get back into the swing of things because it was it was night and day difference just between pre-judging and finals with Sue's posing, and I think we'll be able to see that on video when we are able to review that. Um, be, just from a confidence perspective and just peace of mind and those different things. Um, so that's it. Would have been really nice if there was like a, a division for people who have taken an extended period of time away just to get up on the, get up there. It doesn't count for this walkthrough. Just let them get under the under the lights. That'd been nice. Um, and for those individuals who are capable of still competing in a novice class, that's a great tool and something that we use with our clients of time away, get on that novice or get in that novice class to get some time under your belt before you go into open, um, is a, a valuable tool. Uh, like I said, there were a lot of emotions <laughs> coming through this morning and like what you do with those thoughts and what you do with those like immediate things that come to mind again, like that's those those are those defining moments where I just felt like such a burden, like I wasted people's time and money and they were so excited to support me and I felt like I let everyone down and I could let those thoughts just consume me and feel those things, but I get to decide what happens with those thoughts next of if I let them again consume me, if I let them just take over the next week and I let the next week be bad or I can realize that those people don't care how I do they don't care if I got first place or last place they came because they truly wanted to be there and they wanted to support me and they love me and on the drive home I was just thinking of how can I be upset when I just have so much love and support like this sport doesn't mean anything without the love and support and so while yes again I can still be upset it doesn't matter as much or it doesn't hurt as much because like at the end of the day at the end of my life kind of thing what I care about is the people that are there and so having so many people just so willing to spend time for me even if I still feel guilty about people spending time on me um it, it was really special just to be able to have everyone and have the, the coaches there for PD and be able to have everyone interacting with one another and spending time with one another. One of our newest team members was there. And so that was so special for her to get to interact with the coaches, my family, um, and then the whole creative team. I mean, this without Miguel or Daniel or 
anything. They both worked their fucking asses off the whole weekend. Um, and that's something that doesn't go unnoticed or unappreciated at all. So it, it's very special. Um, it's complex. There's so many emotions that go into it. There's so many layers of everything that is falling into a show weekend. And so it can be very overwhelming, but um, I'll choose to let it be overwhelming in a good way. And I was really proud of her to come out of a scenario where she did fall short of her goal and the expectation that she had placed on herself. It would have been very easy to tell everyone to go go back to your rooms. I don't want to spend any time with you guys and sit in her room and sulk and, and be upset last night. And um, she was she was much happier than I was. <laughs> 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 she, she, was she, t- she took it a lot better than I did. Um, and was, was very, uh, loving with everyone. Her dad picked her up and twirled her around, I think 16 times, um, uh, after telling her how proud, she, how he was of her and everyone was showering her with love and support. And, um, that was a really powerful time. And then we went to dinner and, and that was probably the highlight of the day to be brutally honest with you. Yeah. Like going out to dinner with everyone was, was so much fun and really turned my mentality of the entire day to being a much more positive than if we would have just gone home. Like I would have been pretty, or gone back to the hotel. I would have been in a pretty bad headspace, but I ended the night on a, a great note. I almost stayed up all night and watched Happy Gilmore because that was on, but. <laughs> ended up, wouldn't have been happy. <laughs> I ended up going to bed. So that was a much more mature decision to make. <laughs> you guys so much for watching supporting and following along all of your guys's i know i just talked about my family and friends that were physically there but all the people that messaged me called me commented liked people who sent me stuff and just showed up for me again it doesn't go unnoticed or unappreciated it's something that i here I go again. I, I feel so lucky just to have people in my corner. At the end of the day, like I am amazed that people want to follow along within my life because I just feel like just a normal, more normal human living life. And just to have so many people who have never even met me um, supporting me and cheering me on and taking time out of their day to either watch the live stream, which was astounding, or to send me a message of good luck. It, it means the world. So thank you guys so much. Uh, there will be a podcast that's probably out earlier this week when you're watching this video talking about the show as well and managing expectations. So if you're watching this and you haven't listened to that podcast, then that'll be a goodie where I'll probably be crying again. Uh, but uh, all for just moving, moving the needle forward and being able to learn from these experiences. Um, and that's what it's all about. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>